um, my own personal day that I had. So, and it's actually really funny because this came up and then a conversation that I had with one of my clients today was completely in line with the exact thought that I had going through. And since it just kept coming up during the day, I thought this is probably the perfect thing to talk to you guys about. I'm sure there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. So this morning I woke up and I got an email that actually had really good news in it, like really amazing news, but that good news meant that I had to do a little bit of extra stuff to get it in motion. And so I had a moment of like happiness followed by like stress because right now I have that I'm working on. I am planning out my wedding that is happening in July, which is kind of like a big deal because I've obviously never planned a wedding before. Um, and there's just like so many little things to think about that you don't actually really think about until you get the ball rolling with it. Then I'm also working on this Instagram training for you guys. And next week, I'm also going away for pretty much a month for um, learning a whole bunch of coaching stuff. I'm getting my Master Life and Success Coaching certification, NLP certifications, hypnotherapy, EFT, all that fun stuff, and I'm super excited, but I'm going away for a month, which means I need to think about like where am I staying, and LA is super pricey, and just finding the right spot that's in like a good location so I can get to where I need to go every day, and then my fiance and I can you know, work around that. So there's just a lot going on right now. And I had this moment where I was like feeling panicked. Like I was just like, oh my God, there is so much to do. I don't even know where to start. Like, bah, this is crazy. And so <laughs> typically when I get in times like this, I like, I coach myself essentially. And so I kind of, it's so funny, but if you're ever in a, in a space where you're, you know, feeling really anxious or fearful or scared, or you're having a lot of negative self-talk, try and like step outside of yourself and talk to yourself as if you were not you, right? And it, and it works great. So looking at things from a different perspective, I kind of coached myself and I realized like, just because I have things on a to-do list does not mean that I have to be stressed. Right, And that's something that like I always have to remind myself and I think is a good reminder for everyone that just because you have a lot of things on the go does not mean that you have to initially re like go back to that feeling of like panic and anxiety and feeling your heart palp palpitating and not knowing what to do, right? Because at the end of the day, like we're all humans. We like live in, for the most part, I'm sure most of you like live in North America or Europe, there's lots of things happening, right? Like, especially as an adult, like there's always gonna be bills, you have a car, you have places to go, you have like people to see, you have to travel or, you know, like people have weddings and babies and like, there's always so much going on. And I feel, and then it's so funny because I, I had this thought to myself and then I was talking to one of my clients today and she said the exact same thing. So I was like, okay, I need to talk to you guys about this because just because you have a lot of things on the go does not mean that you have to feel anxious or stressed. As humans, there's always going to be a lot of things that we're gonna be doing. And what you should actually be saying to yourself and what I should actually be saying to myself is that, you know, no one's forcing me to do any of this stuff, right? Like I wanted to get certified, I wanted to get married, I wanted to create this Instagram training, like I wanted to do all these things. Nobody forced me to do any of these things, just like for the most part, I'm sure no one's forcing you to do any of the things that you're doing. And you should actually be looking at it from a different perspective and congratulating yourself because instead of taking the easy route and just like you know coming home from work and watching Netflix all night or just like doing absolutely nothing instead of taking the easy route chances are if you're watching this you decided to challenge yourself a little bit and do something that's outside of your comfort zone and to try and make your life better or to increase your value or to increase your experience or to make your life richer and so you should actually be congratulating yourself because of that and this is one of the <laughs> balance life says take the control back from the stress monster yes 100% um yeah and it's just like one of those things like you can look at it from a negative perspective or you can look at yourself and say it like oh my god i am doing so many things that are going to make my life better 
imagine how amazing it's going to feel when they're all done and you feel accomplished and you can look back on the memories. And also remember that just because you have a lot of things to do does not mean you need to feel negative about it. So one thing um, that I used to have to do a lot when I was first starting my business, because there were so many things that were new to me, is um, there's this great quote that says, channel your fear into excitement. And so I would take deep breaths if I felt fearful, if I was like posting something for the first time or putting myself out there and I was stretching outside of my comfort zone which is where that fear usually comes from I just take a few deep breaths until that fear felt more like I was excited just like if you were to go to like an amusement park with a whole bunch of big roller coasters and you're about to step on and you just feel excited for what is about to happen right because chances are the things that you're working on they're good they're gonna help you make more money or have better relationships or get further in your life or feel feel more accomplished so it's only good things so a lot of the times too, we're also worrying, right? We're worrying about the worst case scenario. We're worrying that after we do all of this stuff, something's gonna go wrong. We're gonna mess up. Um, and I was actually talking to someone else about this today, but worrying now is essentially feeling the pain that you're worried about now. So if you're worried about doing something and then it messing up and then you feel the pain of that, instead of you know taking the 50-50 chance that it might happen, you're just deciding to feel that pain right now. Because essentially the reason why we do anything is because we don't want to feel pain. But if you're worrying, you're stressed, you're, you're anxious right now, you're deciding to feel that pain right now, even though the thing that you're worried about hasn't even happened yet. And so you can be worrying about something for months and it doesn't even happen. And so if you have to complete the task on your to-do list anyway, you might as well go through them enjoying the journey, learning what you can, taking what you can from the journey and putting your best foot forward and the creativity that you can put into it rather than being worried and stressed and anxious along the way. Um, a big thing too is your brain has different, your mind has different layers. And so right at the core of your mind is all of your subconscious processes. So, you know, your heart beating, your lungs breathing for you, whatever it is, the stuff that you don't actually have to think about, like blinking. The next level is your emotion. So like fear, pain, joy, happiness, whatever your emotions are. And the next layer on top of that is a layer that only humans have. And that's where you access your creativity and your innovation. But if you're feeling fear, if you're scared, if you're panicking, if you're nervous, what happens is you shut down that top layer because your your brain tells your mind that you're in fight or flight mode, right? Just like how animals go into fight or flight mode if they see their predator staring at them, your body actually doesn't know the difference between the cortisol that's released because you have a big project that's due in a few hours or the cortisol, which is a stress hormone that is released because, you know, there's a bear chasing you through the forest, right? And so if you are in that state of panic, your body is just going to shut down all those higher faculties and you're just going to be in like, you know, get shit done, but you won't be able to be creative. And so the thing that could probably help you the most in those times where you are feeling stressed, you're actually shutting down because you're in a place of fear and panic. So this was something that I learned that really came in handy for me when I was get, trying to get better at public speaking because if you are standing in front of a room but you're and you're about to do a speech but you're in that place of fear you're going to shut down that creativity and that innovation that's going to help you think on the ball and help you deliver and help you be creative and you know show up as your best self so it's really really good to remember that you know it's okay to live in a little bit of uncertainty and the opposite of fear is love so whatever you're going into Aim to do it from a place of love rather than from a place of fear, and it's gonna turn out so much better. And at the end of the day, the whole purpose of everything that you're doing isn't just for the end goal, it's also to enjoy the journey as well, right? So many people rush right to the end to the end goal, but what if you could enjoy every single step of the way, right? What if you could have fun, not just, you know, when the wedding is done, but also in like my example, for example, but also when you're at the florist picking the flowers and when you're testing out the different cakes and trying that, or when you're in the store trying on the wedding dresses, right? So this applies to everything. Don't rush right to the end. Enjoy every single little bit along the way. Know that and trust yourself that whatever is on your to-do list, however long it is, you are gonna be able to get all of those things done. 
for the most part, people are very, very understanding. So if you get something done late or, you know, things don't work out 100%, you can talk to whoever else is involved in the situation and work different things out. So there's always the positive side of it. But what I really want you, what, what I really want to remind you is that just because you have a lot of things on your to-do list, it does not mean that you have to meet it with stress and pain and anxiety and fear because chances are the intention that you had when you created this to-do list was to make your life better. So always uh, remind yourself to celebrate the fact that you're moving to create your life better or to make your life better work through things with that energy of joy and with that energy that you put into it, it's going to make the outcome so much better anyway. So guys, this was really fun. If you have any questions on it, send me a message. It was so cool hanging out with you and I loved all of your comments. So hi, Third Eye Thirst. So hopefully this helped you if you are feeling stressed right now. Hi, Sharice. Feeling so anxious and stressed lately. Yeah, so do the things that you're doing from a place of love, from a place of fun. Remember the reasons why you're doing it because even if you're like, no matter what the energy is that you're showing up to do those things, that energy is going to go into the work that you're doing. So do it from a place of love, from positive intention and from wanting to make it a win-win situation for you and everyone else involved. And that energy is going to flow through everything that you are doing. So thank you guys so much for joining. This was really fun. Um, I didn't see any questions, just lots of cute comments from you guys. <laughs> Back to basic sales. Oh my God, greatest thing I heard all day. You don't have to do it all. Nope, you don't have to do it all. And you don't have to do it all right now. Like I'm stressing out something that isn't happening for a few months. So I'm going to be okay. All right, guys, have an amazing night and I will hang out with you again tomorrow. Oh, I came late. Also, my nine month old loves your live stream. That's so cute. A lady my mastermind saying her kid loves um, my live streams too. That's so cute. Okay, love you guys. Bye.